So one of the other things I think we suffer from in uh, object orientation is death by specificity, right? All the time, we have a new thing, we have a new idea, a new piece of data, boom, we have a new class. Get this, get that, get whatever. I don't care if they're value types, whatever, right? It's just a glorified map, except you can't even use it as a map in Java, right? There's no generic way to manipulate something that says get this, get that, get that. It's a new type, new language, it's got its own little vocabulary, right? So uh, you're gonna have more code, you're gonna have much less reuse, you're gonna have more coupling. Right? Because essentially what's happening is every object has its own little language. My class, my interface, my own language. This is m the, my biggest pet peeve. I wanted to get away from this. When we started writing get this, get that, it's like this is, there's no purpose to this. This is just life sucking. So let's look at life sucking. In the, in, this, is, this is just a tiny part. I actually skipped, this is just the servlet request and I have a little bit of HTTP servlet request which really doubles the size of this thing. But my question to you is, how many maps do you see here? We're like, give a name, you get a value. I got one. I got one. I actually can't do the auctioneer thing. How many you got? Um, it looks like there's one or two sub-maps, like parameter names, parameter values. Yeah. Actually, yeah. All right, so first of all, this game is hard, right? <laughs> There, there's some. I got, I got three inside, and the overall thing is a map, too. So I got four right off by you know, picking it apart. What's really interesting is, look at these map interfaces. They're all ad hoc. Guess what else? They're all different. One has setting. One, you can actually get the map. One, you can get a list. Some, you can get out with types. There's four different maps in this one class. This is crazy. Right? In Clojure, we just use maps. Right? This stuff came over a wire in HTTP as text. How did we turn it into this? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Why, you know, this is crazy. Now, who can, uh, I told you the curly braces are maps. Who can see how many maps? One, two, you know, you see all the maps. They're, like, they're, cause they're still maps. Right? If you're gonna write code that manipulates that other stuff, every single line of code you write is gonna be special has to, you know, use uh, whatever, Java X servlet blah, right? And you're writing code explicitly to this thing. If there's another way to do HTTP, not that there is, servlets are probably the only way to do HTTP, but if there was another way to do HTTP, will you be able to reuse that code? No, it's all written, it's all hardwired to this person or person's idea of like what an HTTP request is, right? So yeah, okay, there's a tiny little benefit. Right? Dot works in your IDE. Woo! Oh my goodness, because I could never remember that. So I bet something better happen when I press dot because <laughs> I'm doomed otherwise. Of course, I could look at the HTTP spec and you know, like we could agree on these names and I just don't get it. You know, you can tell a kid not to put a spoon in a blender and turn it on. And like they will remember that for their entire lives. They will never make that mistake. But grown up adult programmers, like we need, we need protection, right, for, for, from this stuff. Uh, but the protection we get is really minimal. What's the cost? It's huge, right? That's a idiot, an inconsistent interface. It's incredibly idiosyncratic. The interface is huge, so if you want to like have a second implementation, you know, get to work, right? There's a ton more code to consume it. You can't use any of the libraries you already have, right? With the closure version, all the map code, like I said, those hundreds of functions, they work on this. You can create this with them. You can read this with them. You can merge two of these with that. And like, you have no new code to manipulate this, no new code. All the functions you already know manipulate HTTP requests as soon as you represent them as data, which they were, by the way, before we mapped them, right? The testing, right? It's easier to test data. Can you make a program that makes this? Yeah, can you make a program that makes one of these? Yeah. Okay, and, this, and the other problem is your typical Java program has two to three orders of magnitude more of that. More of this, right? 100 classes, a couple of hundred, how many people have programs with more than 1,000 classes? Yeah, that's a party. All right. <laughs> 